Hello amazing people, welcome back to Miriam's Daily Wisdom Nuggets. Thank you for coming back once again. If you're a subscriber, I'm very, very grateful that you subscribe to my channel. If you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Let's grow together. Stay with me, don't go anywhere. So amazing people, today I want to share with you how I lost stubborn weight after I had five kids. So when I had my first child, it wasn't a big deal for me. I wasn't really fat. I wasn't eating very well. Um, I didn't have much of an appetite. So I didn't gain much weight after having my first baby. But something happened after I had my first child. Three months while I was breastfeeding my first baby, I took in seed again. I got pregnant again. Yes, that can happen if you don't protect yourself whilst you are nursing a new baby or you have a new baby. So I got pregnant again with my second child and during, and during this second pregnancy I found myself eating everything. I was, I was opportune to eat everything. I was able to eat. When I'm eating rice I have to have Fanta by my side. When I'm eating food I have to put three meats in it. I have to be drinking malt every day. I have to be eating junk food, meat pie, cakes, rock bands, name it. Every sweet thing I was eating. Piling on all the fatty foods because at this time I can't come and kill myself because <laughs> I'm pregnant. What can I do? Let me continue eating anyway. I continued eating and after having my second child, I kept on piling weight upon myself. When I got married newly, I was weighing 59 kg. But by the time I had my second child, I had shot up to 70 kg because I was not watching what I was eating. I was eating unhealthy. I didn't care at this point because people were even complimenting me. Those in our African setting will bear me witness that when you start adding weight as a newlywed, as someone that just got married and started having kids, people will start complimenting you. So people were complimenting me, telling me, oh, you're looking nice, you're looking good, ah, you're looking beautiful, it suits you. So at this point, when I had my second child, I wasn't bothered. Nothing was bothering me anymore. I was like, okay, let me enjoy myself with anybody, but I didn't know I was killing myself. I kept on adding weight after having him. I continued eating more and more. At this point, I was 70 kg and over. I wasn't bothered at all. So my beautiful people, I continued eating and eating and what I was eating was terrible. Junk food, soft drinks, sugar, I didn't even care. A point came where um, I bought um, SMA milk, SMA um, baby milk for my baby and she didn't like it. So I also found myself licking all this milk, emptying one, <laughs> one tin of milk by myself because by, the, by this time I was so excited, I wasn't bothered, I, nothing was bothering me. My husband wasn't complaining, so why would I and complain? After having my third child, I realized that I had shot up to 90 kg. 90 whooping kg and to be frank with you I wasn't bothered even at this point because I felt like okay I'm looking good my body is looking nice I'm not slim again but what got me triggered what got me scared was when my dresses couldn't fit me I anymore on a dress I looked strange my body was shapeless I became I looked out of shape actually I looked very very out of shape so I became bothered I was worried Though my husband was not complaining, I became worried by myself. By this time, so forget about all these praises. Look, praises are back. Go and stay somewhere. Let me, let me do something for myself because this weight gain is getting out of hand. And in some time, I got pregnant again, had my fourth child, got pregnant again, had my fifth child. And that was when I was ready. I was now ready to lose all the weight. So what I did was... I went on the net once more and I started researching. With my kids in school, what is the best way for me to lose all this weight without exercise? Because to be frank with you, I'm not the type that I don't like exercise. I'm, I'm very lazy with exercise. I hate exercise. So I went on the net and I typed in how to lose weight. And the top search was exercise, exercise, exercise. I said to myself, man, I can't do this. I don't know how to exercise. What am I going to do? I researched again how to lose weight without exercise. What I chose was portion control. So I'm going to tell you how I lost weight with portion control. I decided to embark on this, um, on this um, weight loss journey, if I wanted to eat, 
I will get my bowl and fill it up. If it was rice, I will fill the plate. I will make sure that the plate is filled to the brim with rice. It will have plantain on it. It will have meat, not one, not two. It will have a lot of meat on it. It will have a lot of side dishes. There will be Fanta, there will be Coke. There will be a lot of things to, you know, garnish the food and make the food appetizing. But when I started studying portion control, I had to cut down. And let me tell you something, to lose weight, first of all, you have to be determined. You have to be determined. So I was determined at this point to get rid of all the fat because let me tell you, I had tried everything. I had tried taking pills, I, I, I even got fatter as I was taking those pills. I had tried taking slim pills, I got fatter. It wasn't working. And, and, and I was, I, I was, my heartbeat was even increasing as I was taking the pills. So I was determined at this point. Determination is number one key. To stop eating the way I used to eat was very difficult for me at first, but I did it. I cut the food into two. I got that same bowl. I cut that food into two. That was how I started. So instead of eating one full bowl of meal or one full bowl of food, food or eating two bowls of um, fufu, banku, apple, um, dough, or anything I wanted to eat, I would share it into two. And I will eat. And when I started doing this, my brain started registering it. When I'm satisfied and I try to exceed that level, my brain, will, something would tell me that, okay, you're satisfied. You don't need to and eat. When more. I realized that I was getting satisfied on half a plate of my food, I decided to share it even more further. I shared that food further into three portions, and I started eating one portion of that full bowl. Yes. Let me tell you, every time you're doing something, your brain will register it. So at this point, my brain registered it again. It has now reduced her food portion again. And I saw myself that I was getting more satisfied with doing this. To be frank with you, you have to also be disciplined. I was very, very disciplined with what I was cheating doing. Cheating at all. I was doing it strictly. I will focus on cutting down that portion control and it started working for me. Within six months time, I noticed that I had calmed down from 90 kg to 70 kg again. And I continued my portion control. And it was working for me. My brain registered it, and my body became comfortable with eating less food. Another thing I did was, I started cutting down on the soft drinks I was taking. I cut out sugar totally. I cut out Fanta, Coke, malt, all those pleasurable moments, I had to cut it out for my body. For me to get that desired shape that I wanted, I cut out every soft drink. I would only take it occasionally or when I go for occasions. For the person not to complain that I'm not taking a drink in their That was the only time I saw myself taking drinks. I cut it totally out. I cut out everything called sugar. I cut out um, junk food, cakes, meat pie, everything. Though once in a while, like I said, occasionally I would take it and I replaced it with water. Yes, I replaced it with drinking more water and I realized that I was even shedding more weight and more weight. Please, when you're doing this with portion control, when you're cheating, when you are still cheating and you say to yourself, oh, it doesn't matter, let me continue eating, maybe the next week I will do it. It doesn't work that way. You have to be disciplined in it. You have to be disciplined with what you're doing. If you're the type of person that this week you cheat, you eat everything you're eating is junk, you're eating all the meat pie, ice cream, sugar, cake, uh, Fanta, Coke, malt. Then um, next week you remember to do portion control and you remember it, you will never lose weight. It's all about discipline. It's very painful because at a point I wanted to give up but I had to keep doing it. And you will see results if you follow it strictly. If you follow it strictly and you get down to the shape that you want, you can now start doing it, cheating once a week. Not you take one week off, one week on, you will never lose weight. So you do portion control and cut out on all the soft drinks, replace it with water. Instead of taking the plain water like that, I started adding lemon to my water. Yes, lemon juice. Squeeze whenever you want to take water. Instead of the water to be boring, some people don't like drinking water. But I made my water experience very interesting. I will get a glass of chilled water, get lemon, cut it into two, squeeze the, um, the juice out of the lemon, pour it into my cold water. drinking it throughout the day. You can also get a water bottle and chill your water. You can even put ice cubes in it. Squeeze your um, lemon into it and drink it throughout the day. The water will help you to be eliminating every waste in your system. Another way I lost weight 
was this one is very very important every morning when i wake up i would take lip lipton tea you don't add milk to it you don't add sugar to it you add lemon one lemon and ginger grated ginger and allow it to sit a little bit you take it first thing in the morning i was doing that a lot also um, um cleanses your system so please try all this. When I started doing all these things combined, I realized that I lost that I a went lot of back to my normal shape again. You Can first of all make up your mind. It's here up there, it's in the brain, it's in the senses. Be determined. Make up your mind that you're going to lose weight. Follow me. This is how I lost stubborn weight, amazing people. You can do it. I did it, it worked for me. I don't know what other people did, but this is my personal experience with losing stubborn weight i came down again from 90 something kg to 60 kg right now so please if you want to lose weight you can do it it's all about determination it's all about hard work it's all about putting your all into it it's all about sacrificing certain food that you love so much it's all about sacrificing certain food that you feel like i can't do without sacrifice them and get to the shame Washing control that. works Cutting down sugar works. And if you can exercise, please do exercise. But it, uh, I can't, I'm very lazy, I can't do exercise. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming back once again to Miriam's Daily Wisdom Nuggets. If you haven't subscribed and you've watched till this point, please give me that subscription. Give me a thumbs and up. Give me a comment in the comment section down below. Hit the bell icon, please. If you subscribe and you don't hit the bell icon, you will never know when I post a video. Hit the bell icon to always stay notified each and every time I upload a new video. Still from Miriam's Daily Wisdom Nuggets. Love you, love you, love you. See you again.